guys, what are we gonna do today? I've had a few people ask me about these word blocks. So we are going to do these up today. So whether you want them small or larger or even larger, I'm just gonna show you how this is really quick and fast and easy. So what I'm starting with is just a piece of wood. I have a lot of these rounded type boards, so this is what I'm gonna use. And I just did a whitewash over it and lightly sanded it to make it look a little more aged. And I'm just gonna do the word hope on here. This is uh, the farmhand, and it's a very tall, skinny font. This is a really fun one called block type, and it's already got your words put together. Here's retro, a fun one that you could fill in with color. This is typesetting, and this is the one that we're gonna use, and it's probably one I use the most. And if you really love scrolly fonts, swoosh is beautiful. It's very big. Some of the letters are like six inches. This is the one you have to do each letter at a time to connect them. But for this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these and we're gonna show you how to line it up on one piece of plastic and just stamp away. So I'm using this clear acrylic mat and make sure it's clean. Your stamps are not sticking, you need to clean off your mat and you need to clean off the back of the stamps if they are not sticking. I'm just gonna lay my letters so the flat side is up. And so they will be facing correctly just like you want them. But this is fun whether you're using a big or small stamp on anything. You can line it up, see how you want it. Lay your acrylic sheet over the top. And if everything's clean, it will just stick like that. Now I know I have it just the way I want it. So I have my black ink pad and I'm just using my brayer and I am going to roll ink onto my brayer. Then I'm gonna roll it over my stamps. I'm going to pick this up, and this is rounded. On a flat piece, this will be very simple. Decide where you want it, and commit, and don't move. And then I am just gonna press down on the areas. Bound, moving, holding it with one hand. This is kind of light, but it works really, really well. Now, if you want it a little more aged, you can just sand over the top of this also. I'm just gonna do a quick sand over the edges. Now you can put a sealer on or wax it or whatever you would like. I'm gonna use a rub-on poly. And there you go. So this one looks a little lighter, but this was on more of an off-white color. Well, you can see this is a brighter white and you're getting quite a difference. Also, make sure your ink pad is very juicy so you get a nice dark look. The other thing you can do is add pieces to your stamped words. Here we added just a stripe across here to add to the words. We added a few little elements, like here is a bird. On this one, we did a bird and a vine. We have a sheep. I even added crackle to the background. So that's another fun effect. This one, what we did, I stamped it, but then I added a couple floral transfers to it. But you could even stamp florals in a different color. So I hope you guys give this a try. Thanks for watching, but have fun.